In this tutorial, I'll be talking you through uh, how to do programming with Circuit Wizard. For the second of the three challenges, you need to uh, program the programming boxes or programmable boxes. Um, to do to to get the badges, you don't need to have all of them. Uh, actually installed onto here, but I recommend for at least one of the badges. So if you're going for the uh, silver badge, you need to let's just double check. So that's going to be A through E, um, and for the gold F through G, and going on to the platinum I through K. At least one of them I would use actually upload onto the puzzle boxes. Okay, let's get you started with the. Uh, puzzles. Okay, so if I open up Circuit Wizard, okay, and let's have a look at what the challenges is. So the first challenge says we need to make a bike light that will cause the light LEDs to flash on and on. Now, when you click on the Circuit Wizard, the link on the website, it will open up and it will take you to the circuit diagram, and that's talking you through. All the different components that are on there that will be contained within that programmable box so it's got two leds it's got a switch it's got an ldr it's got a piezo which makes a sound possible and lots of other pieces okay if you click onto the flow chart so from the design you click on where the flow chart tab is down the bottom left you will see um so flow chart bottom left okay and we can have a look at the different sections now look all the boxes we're going to need for doing our programming are in here. If you scroll down, there are lots and lots and lots and lots of different options. Okay, and depending on how confident you feel and depending on which um, task you're doing, you may want to kind of dip into these other ones and have a look and see if any of those are useful for doing them. Okay, but at least to start with for the silver badge tasks, you should get away with just using these ones here. Okay, so uh, for example, I want to switch a light on. Okay, so I want to switch a light on. I'll use a start box. I'll use the output. Okay, now when I double click on the output, so this is the left mouse click, double click. Okay, it will open up this dialog box here. Okay, now this is going to tell me what options are available. So it's telling me that I've got three outputs available. Okay, so if I switch them, that's switching them all off to start with. So if I want to start the program, I want to switch them all off, I could do that. Okay, now I want to switch one of the LEDs on, so I'm going to say that's G0, so I'm just going to turn that to green. Okay, if I go too far, I can just sort of go all the way back round again, okay, and on to there. All right, and I can say OK. So that's, so high GO is going to switch that on, okay. Now what will happen if I switch something on, it'll very, very quickly just sort of go off again, okay. So I'm going to use my wait command, okay, and again, uh, left click double click and I can type in how many seconds I want there so two seconds will be fine and then I'm going to switch that uh, G0 LED off so again just using the output box here click on output and bring that across okay now you'll notice that one there automatically just undo okay when I brought that box in it automatically connected if it doesn't okay I can always grab these and sort of draw the arrows going down the way so for example let's try this one if I go too far away it doesn't automatically connect it but I can just go click there down to there and click and that will still and I can actually sort of adjust that afterwards if I like so again I need to double click on there and this time I want it to the red one for G0 because that's going to switch it off so that will become, become low geo. become low GO okay so I'm going to say okay I'm going to put another weight and bring that in and again I'm going to double click on there left mouse click and say two seconds and say okay and what we'll do is I'm going to loop that back round the way so to loop back around the way starting at the bottom here I'm just going to sort of draw so you have to kind of move it across to it in a sort of smooth motion and I go across here and I want to go back the way. So I'm going to just left click and I can start to move that up the way. Okay, so ideally, uh, for some reason I seem to be getting this error here and every time I close it off it actually closes off the program. But if I link, draw the arrow from the bottom there and click, I should be able to draw that all the way back around to there. So this will say high geo, wait two seconds, low geo, wait two seconds and that will go round and give me um, 
are kind of looping. The lights will flash on for two seconds, off for two seconds, on for two seconds. Okay. For this next section, bring in the next box here. Um, I've just got a very simple circuit again. This one is switching on the LED called G2. It waits one second, switches off G2, waits one second, and it'll switch off. Okay, so if I wanted to loop it, I'll just get rid of that stop and bring it back around to there, and it will just keep going. Okay, now the next thing I need to think about is when I can build a switch in. Now a switch obviously has got two states, and so we need a decision box. The decision box we need is using the diamond here. Okay, so it's a digital, it's either on or it's off. Okay, so I'm going to collect that diamond, and I'll bring that over that line there. Okay, now when you use the diamond, you'll see straight away, okay, that it tries, to, it needs to have coming off there two arrows, okay, it needs to have a yes arrow, now that's automatically put the yes arrow, okay, and then it'll need to have a no arrow. Now the no arrow is probably most of the time just going to be linking back to itself, okay, so that no arrow there you can see, it's just going to keep going round there. The yes arrow will happen here. So that first of all, um, I need to say what what is the question going to be. So if I double click on here, okay, you can see I've got two possible inputs, either G1 or G3. Okay, so I'm going to pick G3, and I'm going to say is G3 on, and that's what the question is going to appear in here. We'll say is G3 on. Okay, if the answer is yes, it'll switch on, wait, switch off, wait and then stop. Okay. If the answer is no, it will just loop around here, constantly waiting until that is pushed in, and then it will activate that little circuit there, switching the light on, waiting, and switching off. Okay. Now with these basic tools here, you should be able to answer those first five. Um, that's just a check. Okay. So Again, you need you need buttons and LEDs. For the toggle switch, I'll recommend there you actually use two decisions. Okay, so that you can first of all say has it been pushed once, and then that can sort of move through the circuit when the, well, so that the LED is on, and then you can ask a second time and say use a second time and say again has the button been pushed again, and at that point you can switch off. Okay, um, for the piezo, okay, that's got uh, lots of options in there. So if you have a look, because obviously you just need to make it bleep, you can make actual sort of notes and all sorts. Okay, and then using the LED um, when it's dark. Now, tips with that is that you're going to need to use um, an LDR. Now, the LDR is not digital. It's got a range of values, so you're going to need for that one to use the analog. Okay, now when you click on there, you'll see there's a range, and you can probably put it sort of halfway and see what it works. And if that doesn't work, then you can kind of adjust up the way depending if you want it to switch on when it's dark or switch on when it's light. So it's got that ability to be able to change that, and that would that you'd connect that to whatever the um, input is for the LDR, the light dependent resistor. Okay, good luck.